Hi guys, um, here to show you another tutorial. Um, we're going to be working in Adobe Photoshop creating a water ripple effect. Um, as you can see, I've done two different water ripple effects and this will be a two part tutorial. Um, we'll start with making the background water ripple effect. So let's come up to our file and create a new document. Let's first get this out of the way. I just wanted to show you guys what the um, end result was. Come up here and create a new document. Now I'm going to create a small, small background here for this one, just so we can um, render this stuff real quick. So let's do about 250 by, say, uh, 300 pixels. Um, give us a new document. Okay, great. First, um, use a hotkey D. D is going to return us to our default foreground and background colors, black and white there. I'm going to come up here to filter, and we're going to filter some clouds in. Go down to render. Here we have clouds. There's a few clouds. I'm going to come back up to filter. I'm going to do um, a uh, radial blur. Let's see, where are we? There we are. Come down, down to a radial blur. Set that to about, turn it on down to, let's say we'll do about 40, 41 is fine. Um, we have a spin method, we'll keep it at the best quality, okay. There you see it dropped a radial blur on it. Come back up to filter, down to our sketch, and we're going to look for the bass relief. Um, it's going to bring us up a few options for bass relief. Um, let's get that on the highest detail. Turn down the smoothness. 10 should be a fine color. Maybe down a bit more. Let's see. Looks somewhat like a ripple there coming into. As you guys can see. Over here, you see we have somewhat of a ripple. Um, play with your smoothness. You probably want the detail up pretty high. Okay, and then um, we'll do one more filter effect. Uh, do the uh, chrome effect here. Um, back in Sketch, do a chrome effect. Take us back into our filter gallery. Yep, looks somewhat like a nice bit of water there. Um, you can play with your detail and your smoothness here. We'll go for about a six. Turn the smoothness down a bit. Two is fine. Okay, now what we need to do is give this more of a color effect, so shortcut key be our command U bring us up to our hue what we'll do is we'll cut our hue on up to turn down the saturation a bit first guys, I want to make sure we check colorize Turn our hue up to about 225 there. Um, cut the saturation just to about 25. Um, getting somewhat of uh, watercolors there. And you can play with the hue and saturation colors a little bit. Um, that's part one of the tutorial there to um, create your background water effect. Um, as again, we can. Um, I just want to show you guys really quick what I did with my my um, most recent Photoshop design. As you guys can see, uh, the way I worked on this image here was I did the background effect. As you can see, that that background water has a radial blur on it and um, I've also been able to do um, 
a foreground image on top of that, and I'm going to show you guys in part two of this tutorial how we did that. So, see you in a bit.